Right now at 5, three men in police custody in the Young Dolph murder case. The Shelby County District Attorney's Office and Memphis Police Department with new developments over the past 24 hours. A third man, Shondell Barnett, is facing charges of accessory after the fact to first degree murder, accused of assisting Justin Johnson as he evaded law enforcement. Justin Johnson and Cornelius Smith are both in custody and have been indicted. Now both are charged for first degree murder. Smith is being held without bond tonight. Well, Brad Broders is live at the still growing Young Dolph Memorial on Airways. That's where the rapper was shot and killed November 17th. So Brad, what kind of help did authorities get in the case? Well, Rudy, in the nearly two months since the shooting death of young Dolph inside this store, law enforcement received hundreds in tips and leads, which led to the cross-country manhunt and capture of one suspect, the charging of another suspect locally, and potentially more arrests to come. We do what we do, and we do it for the safety of our community. It really speaks to the work that these guys and gals do every day. Federal and local law enforcement revealing new details on a nearly two month long investigation and the relentless search for the men accused of shooting and killing Memphis rapper young Dolph, Justin Johnson and Cornelius Smith. From day one, there were um, leads and these investigators have been on the trail U.S. Marshals took Johnson into custody Tuesday near Terre Haute, Indiana, several days after authorities announced a warrant and reward for his arrest. Johnson waived extradition Wednesday morning, and Marshall said he'll soon be transferred back to Memphis. He will go before a judge in this building, go before a federal magistrate and have an initial appearance. Tuesday, we also learned about Smith, the second suspect, also indicted in Dolph's murder and already being held in DeSoto County on a separate charge. Authorities say they're confident Johnson and Smith are the men in this surveillance video taken moments before young Dolph was shot on November 17th and Makita's cookies on Airways Boulevard in Memphis. We can't say 100%, but we have enough information to have push this particular case to the point that it is now and pursue uh, this in a court of law. There was enough evidence, enough material evidence, enough uh, support and witnesses to be able to get this case to this point. Memphis Police Chief C.J. Davis told the public the Young Dolph shooting case is ongoing and still very active. We, you know, conduct, continue to conduct this investigation. There's no telling where it could potentially lead. There could be other individuals that are implicated in this particular homicide. Now, authorities also said this afternoon they're not ready to release what they believe is a potential motive in the shooting of young Dolph here on November 17th. A spokesperson for the family of Dolph said they loved ones are not ready to add additional comment. But Memphis Police Chief C.J. Davis said this afternoon she believes the family would be relieved about the significant developments in this case. Reporting live in the Memphis Airport area, I'm Brad Broders reporting.